Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nally. This is a video I made to welcome you to the class. This particular class that I'm teaching uh, this semester, this video is made is for Chem 12, but if it's Chem 11, it's very similar to this uh, setup as well. So you can watch the same video for uh, a website on Chem 11 as well. What I want to do really is to uh, explain to you how the website is organized and how you can look for any materials you want related to this class, whether it's homework, assignment, whether it's lecture topics, whether it's lab topics, whether it's when you know assignments are due, when classes are going to take quizzes and exams. All of this you can find in this um, website uh, as long as you understand how it's organized. So that's the purpose of this video. First things first, of course, is you need to have the address of the website. So make sure that you bookmark it in your uh, you know, tablet, smartphone, or um, PC or whatever. And then uh, what you want to take a look here first is the calendar item. So you can see here there's uh, basically lists, you know, the type of activities they will be doing. Uh, you can click on this and it will give you a bit of a more description of what we're actually going to talk about. Uh, if you click on this, it will tell you, you know, what, again, the item of uh, interest and a bit more description. Now, the two color coding I use here is blue are for things that are not graded. So, for example, you know, we're going to meet for lecture. I'm going to talk about kinetics uh, on that day in lecture. Okay, so that's really what, what it's for. There's no grading there. Uh, per se in that activity. Uh, the red ones are uh, things that are graded. So for example, if you click on that, it says lecture quiz kinetics. That means you'll be taking a quiz on this day and it will be on the topic of kinetics. Okay. Um, and there's also another item here that says pre-lab quiz. That means you're going to take a, a quiz on the lab that you'll be doing that day and it's going to be on this clock reaction experiment. Okay. So you want to scroll through this, you know, know when things are coming up. Um, and prepare for them appropriately. Now, the other thing that you'll see here on the first page is there's an add um, information for those who want to add the class. And you can click here and it will tell you a little bit about how I normally add people, whether it's a short semester or the long semester, fall, you know, short semesters are winter and summer, long semesters are fall and spring. Um, and you can also contact me here. There's contact information listed there. And the video itself, the welcome video that you're watching right now, is usually posted here for convenience in case you need to review some of the materials I mentioned in this video. Now, there's several important things here, as I mentioned earlier, the first one being the syllabus of this class. And the syllabus is set up in such a way that you have different components of the syllabus that you can look at depending on what you want to, um, you know, find out about. So, for example, if you want to find out about how homework is assign in the class, you can just read through the homework section here. Um, one of the things that people like to look at, of course, is how the grades are break, broken down. Um, so these are how I assign percentages to different components, different activities in the class, and they all add up to 100%, and this is how the grades are, uh, uh, you know, in the end assigned to each student, depending on how much, you know, of the percentage you acquire. So one of the things that is really important to know about is how you can succeed in this class, okay? Uh, generally speaking, I think students understand that you need to, you know, do quite a bit more work for a science course. But I think the issue is that uh, you don't really know how much more work you need to do, okay? And I want to emphasize here that, you know, this is this kind of standard suggestions for students for taking a science course. You can form study group. You have to ask questions continuously to the instructor when you're having difficulty. There are free tutoring available at the SMC Learning Resource Center. But, I, you know, I would say that after teaching this class for several years, the major, major issue that I see with students t uh, failing or not doing as well as they should in this class has to do with time management and scheduling. And really, I think it's just the majority of students are not uh, aware of the amount of time that they have to uh, commit to this class. Uh, I always say that in a regular semester you need to put in 15 hours a week outside of class in order to be able to, you know, keep up with the material in the class. This includes doing your lab report, um, reading the notes, watching videos, uh, you know, just in, ge in general keeping up with the class. And very few students do this. I know this based on teaching this class for many years. Um, if you're taking this in a short semester, 
uh, don't do anything else. That's that's my advice. If you want to pass and or do well in the class, yeah, a lot of times you can pass, but you wouldn't do well in the class if you're not taking it seriously. Okay, so read this section carefully. Um, really, uh, you know, take this advice seriously. I can't stress it enough because I see so often students who are supposed to get B's getting C's, students who are supposed to get A's get B's because they're just not putting enough time in this class. Okay. There's more specific suggestions on how you can study for the test that I would write for you and how you should take the exam. The exams are scheduled, you know, two and a half hours. I give you specific suggestions here on how you should break down the exams, how you should organize the way you take the exam. So you want to read this section really carefully. The rest of these uh, two sections are on the lecture topics that we would cover and the lab topics that we would cover in the lab. So the lecture topics are listed here. This is for Chem 12. When you click on one of these, usually what you'll see is um, a PowerPoint lecture slide. So the PowerPoint lecture slides you can download um, and usually there might be additional files you might need to download. Like in this case, there are certain Excel files that you need to download for this particular chapter. Um, there's usually homework assignment. Um, that's a sign from uh, one of the textbooks that we've used for a while, which is the Zumdal textbook. Uh, and there's usually a homework solution for that, uh, you know, the key to the homework questions that were asked there in that homework assignment. And in class, and uh, we also have these uh, questions that I ask throughout the uh, lecture called clicker questions. And when we finish with that chapter, these clicker questions would then be uploaded here for you to practice more on. Um, the labs are listed here, so one of the things I want to spend some time on is talking about the labs. The way labs are organized is a little bit different. You're still going to come in, you're still going to do your uh, labs as usual, but one of the things that's a little bit different is I don't do the pre-lab lecture like um, maybe some instructors do. What I expect you to know is when you come into the lab, you have to have done some kind of preparation work so that you're ready to do the lab right away. Um, and the preparation work, I've made it uh, in the video form. So what you have to do is you have to watch these videos. Uh, right next to videos is usually a set of questions. Now this one doesn't have it yet, uh, but let me just show you an example from a Chem 11 course. Uh, that I taught recently and show you exactly what that form would look like. So you see here is a series of the videos on the left side and you see that you have the questionnaires, the pre-lab questionnaire on the right side. What you want to do is answer all of these questions. It's fairly easy. You just need to click on one of these to answer it and then at the end click submit and that answer would then come to me and the way you can answer this uh, questions is based on watching these videos carefully. So you want to watch these videos while you're watching make sure you take careful notes because the material in this video will be also appearing again in a pre-lab quiz that you'll take in the lab. So it's very important that you watch these videos carefully. Take notes. I can't stress that enough. Take notes. Don't just watch or watch this while you're watching TV, watch this while you're playing your video games or whatever. Watch it carefully. Spend some time as if this is a lecture. So sit there and watch it and focus and take notes and then answer those questions. And if you, um, we would talk about some of these questions in lab when we meet, but you'll also be taking a pre-lab quiz once you're in lab. So it's very important that you watch all of these videos. Again, in each of the lab that we'll be doing, that's the preparation you have to do. You have to watch these things, answer the questions associated with them, and then come into lab um, having done some of these preparation work. So you're somewhat ready for the class, uh, for the lab itself. During the lab, I really would give you very minimal instruction. So you have to know what you're doing. Okay, That's how you would ex you're expected to do in a real chemistry lab as well. Okay couple of additional materials I want to talk about. There's sample exams available uh, for the class. These are old exams I've given out to students and uh, basically what I've done is I've given the sample exam here, I've given a key to them. In addition, I've made videos to solve every question in the sample exam. Okay, So if you're ever stuck uh, with the sample exam, you don't know how to do this, then feel free to just go to the 
video and you know watch them to see how I solve the problem. Uh, another thing that's important is this current grade status report. This is a list of all the um, uh, uh, updates after you've taken an exam. So after you take an exam, I usually give a little bit of an update. Uh, you know, I show you what how, how you've done in the uh, class with all the uh, assignments that you've graded so far that have been graded so far, and you can look at it here. These are given in Excel files, and then. Um, they look something like this. Let me just show you really quickly what they look like. They look something like this. So each uh, student is usually identified by a number here, which is your clicker number. We'll learn more about this when we meet in class. And then it tells you all of the different grades you've gotten so far on averages, and then what your current percentage is and what your current grade is in the class. And then what it tells you also is additionally what you're going to need to do in the future on average to get an A, a B, or a C. Okay? If it's an exam, usually I give a, a distribution of the exam grades just so that people know how, you know, people are, how well uh, students are doing on that particular exam. Okay? Uh, lastly, very important, contact me section. Okay? There are many, many different ways you can contact me. Uh, first off, using my SMC email address, that's the standard way. Uh, I've also created a phone number specifically for you to text me. So you can text me at this phone number. Uh, if a lot, a lot of you feel more comfortable with texting, just for, feel free to text me. You can also um, use um, you know, the class Facebook page. I'll create a, a Facebook page for the class. Um, it would look very much like what I'm showing you right now here and as you can see uh, what I've done here is uh, you know these are all students posting and I posted and I answered the questions um, so you want to be active in the Facebook group one of the first things you want to do is add yourself to the Facebook group right away at the very beginning because all announcements as you can see announcements on grades announcements on questions in the exam are all provided here in the Facebook group. So if I don't have time to make announcements in class, all the announcements are going to be in the Facebook. So it really is necessary for you to sign up to this Facebook group so that you can keep up with the different announcements for the class. Okay, uh, you can also fill in this little simple form with your name, your email address, and your question and click submit and that would come to me as well in the form of an email. So there's many different ways to reach me. Uh, this texting will be anonymous because the only thing that will show up is your phone number and I don't know your phone number so then this will be anonymous. So I know some students are a little shy or they uh, feel that you know if they ask questions then they would look stupid to other people. If they ask it in front of class or if they ask it in Facebook they feel a little intimidated or even if they use this because their name and email address would show up. But you know, really, I want to encourage you to ask as many questions as, as you can uh, for about things that are relevant to the class, okay? Uh, things that are not so relevant, we can talk about it outside class or in some free time, but really these are meant for things that are relevant. Exam questions, homework questions, clicker questions, concepts you're not clear about, ask me. Don't ever uh, just sit there and not do anything when you're in, uh, you know, confused about the material because you're not going to get anywhere uh, if you just stay there and not ask questions. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you get oriented with the uh, website and you want to do a little bit of, uh, you know, um, figuring out yourself. Click on each one of these items, figure out what they are and really learn the website carefully because it will be a very useful resource for you throughout the semester. Okay, I'll see you in class.